<laughs> what a good boy, Crapper! Oh, he's so excited to be welcomed home. Let's go, Merritt. Way, Way to protect. Hey, wait way to, way to protect, Merritt. Let's go, Merritt. You're battling. Let's go. Out of boy. Out of boy, Merritt. Uh. Okay, we are officially done with baseball, which is just always so strange when we get to this point because it's kind of an abrupt, anticlimactic uh, end when you don't, you know, when you just like lose out of the tournament and that's the end of the story. And that's also a relief because it's like, oh my gosh, abruptly we have so much of our life back. But um, today being a Saturday, I had Bible study at um, eight in the morning and the boys and Kay and Tom left for baseball in the next county over at the same time. So we went in like two different directions and I grabbed one of the moms from my Bible study and we met them over <laughs> at game time. Um, so we lost, we lost our first game, won our second game, lost our third game. It's a double elimination. So that's the end of all stars for merit. Of course, Gage didn't make All-Stars, so that's done. And now Cadence goes to state um, with softball, so she'll compete in the state tournament. And that is still like two weeks away. So we still have practice for that. And of course, we had the puppies last week or this week earlier, <laughs> earlier, a couple days ago, three days ago. Um, we also are like, we just harvested a ton of peppers because we need to to basically pickle them and get them in jars or they're gonna go bad on the vine. We have our 4th of July party in about one week from now. And so we are just like in quick pivot because if we won this morning, we were gonna have to play again tonight and we didn't win. So now we have like this available day, but it's just, I was like so exhausted. I just had to like sit still. Um, I was also supposed to be in Vegas this weekend for my company. And I had to cancel that trip a couple of weeks ago because I realized there's the puppies are due this weekend. Merritt had his tournament, which was out of town. Cadence had practice. <laughs> and like, I'm just like, this is not gonna come together. So um, I'm glad I didn't because both, all three kids ended up with strep. So um, like yesterday I had everybody okay. over at my house to, no, to um, watch the Vegas training on TV and uh, we were watching live. So I had people over from about 11 in the morning all the way until I had to leave for ball at 4 p.m. But of course, Cadence woke up and she was worse, not better. And she's the third of the three kids to get strep. So I sent her to the doctors with, with Tom, but Tom had clients to deal with. It has been an insane, insane weekend um, and hilarious that I thought, in any world that I could maybe not be here for this weekend. I'm glad that I chose to be here, but that is the hardest part right now about homesteading is still doing regular life and figuring out the demands of the homestead and navigating, like when things are ripe, you just kind of have to, like it has, to, it's an immediate need. Um, and then of course, like thinking forward a week to having this 
big party. We have, you know, hundred and some odd people come over getting the farm ready to host that. It's just like, we're just in it right now, but I'm like really glad I'm like processing in my brain, like baseball's over abruptly, suddenly this morning, over crazy. <laughs> cause, and it was a blessing cause, oh my gosh, you guys, if Merritt did win this tournament and he went on to state also, his tournament and Cadence tournament would be at this on the same weekend. Cadence's, of course, would be in Collinwood, Tennessee, and Merritt's would be in Aloud in Tennessee. Those two towns are about five hours apart. So clearly I cannot be in both of those places at the same time, but Thomas will be in North Carolina that weekend for his company and he cannot cancel. I could cancel mine, he cannot cancel his. So. Somehow I was going to be in two separate places without my husband, two separate tournaments. So it's actually a huge blessing that Merritt did not go on to state only be, for that reason alone. But I was, I had already called in a friend to be like, you might have to come stay at my house and take my daughter to her tournament because I will have to be in East Tennessee with my son. Plus we have the puppies that can't be really left alone for very long. And it's just really a funny moment. It's a funny moment in the lives of people trying to be homesteaders and also normal people on earth. So uh, that is an update of our Kukachu life. And so we're gonna do some canning this afternoon. The boys are taking firework inventory. We have so much raspberry jam that did not, no, blackberry jam that did not go well, as you know. Um, we miscalculated the recipe tremendously. So we're gonna, uh, we're just pivoting, just pivoting across the board, figuring it out. I'm super tired, but we're making it work.